Um, I do have a bit of a, a warning for you. If uh, puns and wordplay are not your breed of humor, I sincerely apologize for what you are about to experience. Okay, let's roll. In 2012, Bozeman, Montana was named the second most dog-friendly city in America by that hard-hitting investigative periodical, Dog Fancy Magazine. But had their bulldog reporters dug deeper, readers would have learned the rest of the story because there were some doggone problems in Bozeman parks. For such a dog-centric community, Bozeman had only one fully fenced dog park within the city limits in 2012. Ai Chihuahua, with so few facilities, dog owners routinely ignored leash laws in area parks. As a result, there was significant user group conflict. Akita, this story, was my first dog, Cooper. That wild-eyed Springer Spaniel needed more running room than my small backyard could accommodate, but in a public setting, he would gladly steal an ice cream cone from a baby, jump up on strangers, and ignore every command I shouted at him. What Bozeman needed, I was convinced, was a network of separate, fully fenced dog parks where dogs could get the exercise and the socialization they needed without negatively affecting other park users. I gathered a small group of kindred spirits to hound the city and county to allow us to create such parks. We created an all-volunteer nonprofit called Run Dog Run, and I agreed to serve as its unpaid executive director. I got a crash course in nonprofit bylaws, insurance, and financial reporting. We operated on a shoestring. For instance, my brother-in-law designed and donated this Labradorable logo. The first project we shepherded through the city was our construction of two fenced play areas near the softball complex, providing dog owners an in-town facility to safely exercise their pets or work on obedience training. The spe uh, space is ideal for puppies or dogs that aren't good candidates for unfenced porks, parks. Boykin word spread quickly. Heart of the Valley Animal Shelter was eager for us to add a separate play area on their campus for community events and single dog play. Donor support, including a donation from Westpaw, allowed us to construct a play area that's in near constant use. We were invited by the previous owner of Rocky Creek Farms to create a two-acre fenced dog park in a secluded area near the creek. Support from Westpaw and other donors allowed us to construct a beautiful park where we held community events for years. But the dog park didn't survive a change of ownership. Oh, Shih Tzu. As Bozeman was passing a ballot initiative to fund more parks, I came across a parcel north of Bozeman Pond Park slated for development. Kelly Pale of G GVLT and I met with the property owners and they eventually deigned to sell the property, which became a six acre park extension and the home of the Haven Shelter. Once voters approved the bond, Run Dog Run proceeded to Springer into action. We raised funds to fence the dog park, GVLT funded the trail system, and the city contributed a shade pavilion. We had a park naming contest and the park was christened, Lewis and Bark Park, a new neighborhood gathering place was born. Meanwhile, the 100-acre county regional park had become quite popular, but dog owners, unlike this person, were being cavalier about regulations, so off-leash access was revoked. We asked the county if we could submit a plan to turn a 13-acre acre section into an off-leash park, and they agreed. Landscape architect Dick Pale volunteered to help with the conceptual plan. It involved creating new ponds, an agility course, diving dock, and dog beach, a veritable doggy Disneyland. We presented the plan to the county and they said we could move forward. This is going to be a mastiff undertaking. <laughs> Starting with a flat hayfield, the park began to take shape. We excavated three ponds and a stream, sculpted hills and berms, planted trees, and stored, installed a border Collie, fence, a trail network, and a wetland system. Then came doggy amenities like an agility course, a puppy play area, and fetch fields. Donors funded Emma's Beach and Kona's Diving Dock Sund. Sh custom shade pavilions were funded by Small Dog Realty in Westpaw. Dog benches were crafted in honor of beloved pets. Within five years, Run Dog Run installed every element of our conceptual plan. It's the most popular dog park in Bozeman. 
Well, Run Dog Run donors certainly weren't penny pinchers. Donations came from elementary school fundraisers, individuals, businesses, give big events, foundation grants, and naming rights gifts. Animal lover Marsha Anderson was so consistently generous, we named the 13-acre park in her honor. We also created partnerships to promote responsible dog ownership practices. We helped GVLT and the city install 31 lend -a leash kiosks. With Gallatin Watershed Council, we organized Scoop to Poop events at area parks. We joined the Outside Kind Coalition to give pointers on trail etiquette. Throughout our history, hundreds of pugnacious volunteers have stepped up to help us build and maintain dog parks. Run Dog Run volunteers have restocked waste bags. They've watered trees. They've planted wetlands, scooped poop, served on our board of directors, and helped us ev execute community events. But alas, uh, Opso, all good things must come to an end. <laughs> Having achieved our mission, we recently decided to wind down Run Dog Run. In 12 years, we raised over $650,000 for new dog parks. We proved that separate play areas reduce conflict. There are now 16 off-leash facilities in the Bozeman area. So looky here, Run Dog Run started out with the goal of creating dog parks, but we learned that, that dog parks actually create community. It's where neighbors get to know each other, where play dates are made and friendships are formed. We're proud to have created those spaces for friendships to form and flourish. So as the curtain closes on Run Dog Run, I feel melancholy, but full of gratitude to the city and county, our board, the volunteers, donors, and partners who are with us every step of the way. It's an example of what we can do when we pull together as a community behind a common vision. Let's work together to take on the next great community challenge. Thank you.